Devil Slayer's secret revealed. Devil Slayer magic, the magic that we have primarily seen from two characters throughout the entirety of Fairy Tale. Those characters being Grey and Silver Full Buster, but to say the very least, there are definitely some questions that arise whenever the magic is brought up because of the different effects that we've seen the magic actually have on Grey and Silver. For starters, one of the most notable differences actually stems from the use of the magic itself, where in contrast to Grey, who actually receives markings all along his body whenever he utilizes the magic of a Devil Slayer, we never actually saw Silver receive the same markings on his skin his skin just stayed normal so this provides evidence towards their magic although in the grand scheme of things it is the same magic it actually provides evidence towards magic somehow being different with the difference between silver and gray actually being apparent here although they utilize the same magic in the grand scheme of things i actually begin to question where the rift could actually possibly be what is the difference between the two people who utilize the same magic so i decided to go and take a look and kind of in a way reference the other forms of slayer magic that we've seen throughout the fairy tale series and when i focused on dragon Slayer Magic more specifically, I actually came to a realization of the fact that there are differences among the Dragon Slayers of different generations. Example being with Dragon Force, unlike the first and third generation Dragon Slayers, the second generation Dragon Slayers, to our knowledge, actually lack the ability to go into Dragon Force. Then taking a look back at Devil Slayer Magic, I actually began to question if much like Dragon Slayer Magic, the effect the magic actually has on the users varies based upon the generation the user actually falls under. However, the question is, if there were numerous generations of Devil Slayer, much like in the case of Dragon Slayers, what generation exactly do Silver and Grey fall under? Now, in the case of Silver, I actually do believe that he would most likely be a first generation Devil Slayer, seeing as much like a first generation Dragon Slayer, he actually physically went through the process of learning his magic. Now, if Silver actually was a first generation Devil Slayer, if a thing like that exists, this could actually mean that Silver was taught the magic of a Devil Slayer by an actual demon, much like Natsu is a first generation Dragon Slayer and was taught the magic of a Dragon Slayer by an actual dragon. Now, this would actually make sense seeing as he was affiliated with Tartarus when he acquired his ability to utilize Ice Devil Slayer magic, and Tartarus is made up of a whole slew of demons. In the case of Grey, I do believe that he'd actually fall under the second generation of Devil Slayers. We have to bear in mind the fact that prior to being bestowed the magic of a Devil Slayer, Grey was only a mere ice make wizard. The reason why I believe Grey actually falls under this category, however, has to do with the way that he received his Devil Slayer magic in the grand scheme of things. Unlike Silver, Grey didn't have to go through the process of learning his magic. He was simply given the power of a Devil Slayer, much like someone like Loxus, who was gifted the power of a Dragon Slayer through the use of a Lacrima, which in return actually caused him to fall under the category of the second generation in terms of dragon slayers. Nevertheless, what do you guys believe? Do you believe it's possible that the difference between gray and silver, the apparent difference in terms of their magic, could simply be because of the generation gap between the two in regards to their devil slayer magic? Go and like this video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. Peace.